Right, this is the UIG's uh, farming simulator. It's called Agricultural Simulator, or AGRA for short. A lot of people call it AGRA, but it's, it is definitely Agricultural Simulator on the box, but the game comes out like this. You might hear me talking underneath on the video that I recorded earlier, but the sound's really crap uh, on my microphone. So I'm going to just put it over the top. Um, I'm going to show you how to turn the plough. Um, we're actually sat on the left hand side of the ploughed field so uh, when it shows you that it's um, ploughing from the left hand side but it's actually pointing to your right hand side those wheels sit in the last groove that you created on the last strip so as you plough in a new part of a field the uh, the actual wheel sits in the in the old groove and the most important thing about turning the plough is with this one is this is an under turning plough it turns underneath so you have to um, usually turn it um, through the transporting position so if you're going from left to right um, go into transport position first before you turn it to the right and then go back to the transport position before you turn it left if you're on a slight incline and you turn the plough from left to right without going into transport position the plough may hit the ground and lift the back wheels off the ground in real life it would damage your tractor there are other ploughs which turn over from the top um, in, a, in an overtop arc but this one's an under turning arc and those you can actually just turn them um, and that's on the wrong side for this type of ploughing because you don't want the wheels on the outer edge the wheels also are the guide there's a lot of springs on a plough and levers and, and things and they, they actually do move about a lot if it was solid the plough would just break it would break all the attachments on the back of your tractor so this is just coming in to start the plough ploughing process you put the wheel on the edge of the plough into the trough of the old one and this keeps your tractor wheels on the dry soil um, and the thing about that is that in real life if you have your tractor wheels on wet soil you can get slippage and your wheels can spin up to one and a half times um, per revolution for forward movement of the tractor so you're actually wasting fuel and you're wasting energy and you're wearing your tractor out so it's best to drive on dry soil so this is why we have a turning plough granted you can use the plough in any motion any direction each time and most people do they just drive the tractor up and down but I see them doing it wrong all the time and if you just want a proper if you're talking simulation because this is what we're on about do it right so you put the wheel of the plough in the previous um, trough so we are now ploughing from the left because we're on the left side of the ploughed field although the, point, the plough is on our right hand side okay so when you're looking back at it from the seat as well you can see that it's um, you might be able to decide which yours left and right is now when you're coming off a field lift the plough and you should turn but I'm going to show you how not to do it you shouldn't just turn your tractor like this because if you do it this way you're in the wrong position and I see people doing this all the time then you've got more of a tight turn to line your back wheel up with the edge of the dried field right um, also it's worth noting what the um, plough is whether it says E or R at the top for left or right in our grass simulator we turn slightly to the side of the plough field go into transport mode, turn the plough back, we're on a full lock and I've turned the plough the wrong way because I wasn't concentrating on what I was doing because I'm busy talking to you whilst I was actually making this video although what you're listening to now is I'm watching the video this time round but the first time I was actually talking over the top and I lost concentration and uh, once you get into a nice rhythm you know you can do it really easily this is the right way to do it hopefully if I remember what I did right, lift the plough, turn hard to the left towards the ploughed side of the field, put your full lock on, go into transport mode, then turn your plough again, and now spin your camera around the same direction as you're going, and then look at the field and keep your eye on the edge of the field and your back wheel of your tractor because that's where you're um, trying to do it. That's the right way to plough. Um, so uh, I'll put that note in there. I'm just coming back to this video actually from um, you know after I just popped out, spit my son up from uh, from school. So 
Um, I can't remember exactly what I recorded. And my computer's running a little bit slow today as well, so I'm seeing one image every sort of like five seconds, and I know that for you it will be playing normally. So I'm just making a guess here. Um, and this is me not putting the plough down, of course. So I had to reverse it. So I've left all the little mistakes in there as well. Um, just as long as you remember to line it up properly. And if you leave little gaps in your ploughing like that, just ignore them because you can tidy them up at the end. Okay? Uh, just to let's see what happens here, we should lift the plough, turn to the ploughed side of the field, put the plough into transport mode, turn the plough around, or oh, keeping the lock on as well, to the right, to the left, sorry, in this case, and then turn your camera around the same way as you're going, and then I had to make my video run out there because I've only got 30 seconds on fraps. Um, pull the tractor into position and drop the plough is what I should have done the first time around. So that's how to plough properly. Ah, oh, this has been Farmer George saying thanks for much for watching that. Okay, don't forget to join Farmer George's email club at farmandsimulators.co.uk. Okay. Uh, don't forget to rate and like and whatever it says on this video channel and uh, you know it helps me get along